Hello friends, today we will see stress strain curve interpretation. Observe the angle subtended by line of proportionality with the vertical line. Here in case 1 and in case 2. This is angle in case 1 and this is angle in case 2. Now observe case 1 angle is less than case 2 angle. And smaller the angle of inclination of the line of proportionality to the vertical line more elastic will be the material therefore in case one material is more elastic than in case two material now observe the yield point height from horizontal line This is case 1 and in case 2 this is the yield point height. So you can see in case 1 height is more from horizontal line than case 2 height and higher yield point means more hardness. We can obtain the yield points by 0.2% offset to strain. Again, in such cases, observe yield points. This is yield point in case 1, and this is yield point height from the horizontal line. This is yield point in case 2 and this is case 2 yield point height from horizontal line. As we know higher yield point means more hardness and here in case 1 yield point is higher than case 2 yield point. That means Case 1 material is harder than case 2 material. Now observe the area under the stress strain curve. It indicates the toughness. This is case 1 area and this is case 2 area. Here case 1 area is greater than case 2 area. That means Case 1 material is tougher than case 2 material. As greater the area, more the toughness. Now, this is showing the angle subtended by the line of proportionality with the vertical line. And this direction showing that elasticity increases. And the area under the stress strain curve indicates the toughness. Greater the area, toughness increases and less the area, brittleness increases. This is area under elastic range and it indicates resilience. Greater the area, more the resilience. So according to L point, as L point goes upside, hardness increases and if yield point goes down hardness will be decreased means that material will be soft and this point is showing the ultimate tensile strength so i hope you have got how to interpret the stress strain curve and what each point is indicating Thanks for watching the video.